How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Ranked Report. This time, we are using a team of my own creation. Um, so this is the Palky team that I've been using on stream um, for a while, so if you've been following my streams, um, then you'll probably have seen me using this team. Um, team is Incineroar, Palkia, Thunderous Tornadus, P2, and Metagross. Um, so kind of the key modes here are, like, hit things with Palkia. That's mode one. Palkia I've actually been kind of impressed with. Um, just because it was damage output. Like, Life or Palkia hits so hard, it's ridiculous. Um, it's a little inconsistent, I think, because defensively it has a couple of issues. Like, being weak to Dragon and Fairy is generally decent defensive typing, but in a restricted meta game, there are a lot of dragons. Um, and honestly, a fair few fairies. Um, so there's a couple of issues with that. Um, yeah, if you've got, like, Palkia under Tailwind or whatever, then you're in for a good time. Um, and then I have Metagross as a backup, um, kind of Dynamax Pokemon with Tornadoes and Brutal Swing. Um, Thunderous is a stab airstream user, so again, that's just about getting speed control on Palkia. Um, and then P2 for good back in bulk speed control, you can run a trick remote mode with Metagross and Insin, um, for example. Um, so that is, that is the team. Um, I am going to be running that one, so let me just jump into some ranked battles. I can't remember what rank I finished at last night, I think it was relatively high. I don't know if this team will be able to keep, in terms of consistency, I'm not sure this team will be able to keep up. Um, that, that was the one issue I was finding with this team, is that it was a little inconsistent. Especially as, like, the, the meta game started shifting towards, kind of, like, Lapras and, and Zashin and stuff. Um, uh, that's the wrong one. Um, it became a little harder for it to keep up, because those are a couple of matchups that the team kind of struggles with. Um, so, I need to be wary of those, but I think it's it's got potential. I don't think Palkia is necessarily a bad Pokemon, I just think I've, I've kind of struggled to build around it. Like, I've, been, I've been toying with building around it for a while, and I've just not really got anywhere. Um, which was not ideal, because the Players' Cup is coming up this weekend, and I've switched to a new team like a week before the Players' Cup, so <laughs> I'm going to have to get in a bunch of practice with that at some point. Okay, let's see if we can get an opponent. Always take, for some reason, it always takes me so long to get an opponent on, uh, on these episodes, especially the first time round. For some reason, the first one always takes ages. Um... There we go. Okay, we're in Ternan. Rank 3k. Ooh. Okay, let's not lose this one. Why is everyone running Sableizard? I hate Sableizard, it's trash. Um, This feels like a Palkia lead, honestly. I don't really see a reason not to lead Palkia. I'm going to do Palkia and... I'm tempted by Palkia Tornadus, honestly. I think that's my best bet. Gives me the option to set Tailwind immediately. Um, and then I go... What? Okay, Thundy. I don't want Thundy. Who am I maxing this game? Hmm. I kind of like Thundy for the ability to just hit Jarazard, honestly. Um, and then I'm not a fan of P2 and uh, sorry, of Metagross into Double Fire. Um, I think I go. Do I go Incin or do I go P2? I think I go Incin here, don't I? Yeah. Let's go with this. Um. My opponent doesn't have access to Tail, but they do have access to Quash, which I need to be careful of with Sableye. So potential turn one play would be to go for like just Max Geyser and Tailwind turn one. Okay, they give Venu Sableye. They just go Sunny Day immediately. I think I Tailwind here to cover for a Sunny Day, and I'm just going to Spatial Run the Sableye. Um, if I can get rid of Sableye turn one, then I think I'm in decent shape. Will this kill? Okay, I do get Tailwind, so that means they're probably going for a Sunny Day here, I guess. Yep. I guess they're Timid Venusaur, this could be annoying. Um... That's why I'm at speed. Um, Space Run should do a chunk to this. Oh, Palkia is strong. This is why Life or Palkia is good. I think just got flattened. And yeah, they sleep me. Okay. So we get rid of Sableye, which is nice, because that thing is a pain in the ass. I can't believe that killed. I can believe that killed, actually. I can very much believe that killed, but Jesus Christ, that's strong. <laughs> I could have also taunted Venusaur there. Um, wait, am I running Taunt on this? No, I'm not running Taunt on this, never mind, I couldn't have Taunted Beansaw. Um, 
Okay, there's a Zashin. I've taken a turn of sleep on Palkia, which is not great. So, sorry, I haven't taken a turn of sleep on Palkia, is what I meant to say. Um, so I do that. I could just air slash into Venu. Breaks the potential Sash or Aquaberry. Um, which means that Thundee has a decent time coming in here. Okay, they are Aquaberry. Um, no, not Aquaberry. Um, flying resist one. It's Cogberry, is what I'm thinking of. Okay. Huggies asleep, very cool. They flinch, very nice. And they do have player off on Zashin. Okay, so I lose my Palkia. But now I get Thunderous in, which is fine. Um, so I get Thunder in. And what I can do here is I can hard switch Incineroar. Um, and get an airstream boost on Incin, which means it should outspeed Zashin next turn. Um, and this also intimidates the Zashin. Airstream to Venu, and hard switch Incin. So I've lost my Palkia straight away. Well, not straight away. Um, I've traded Palkia for Sableye, which doesn't seem like a great trade, but. Realistically, what I've done is I've traded my Palkia for getting rid of their Sableye and getting speed control. Um, so now I can airstream their Venusaur. I get a speed boost on my Incin. Incin should outspeed Zash, and I think Sun Boosted Flare Blitz plus like a Knuckle or an airstream um, should kill. If not, then certainly I think plus one Sun Boosted airstream should um, should kill. Uh, sorry, plus one Sun Boosted Flare Blitz if I can get like a max Knuckle off with um, Sunday. Um, Incineroar against Zashian. Oh, okay, no, this just kills. What is, like, max HP? Well, this kills max HP. Jesus Christ. Okay, this this just kills max HP Zashian in Sun. That's fine. Um, that's a big fine. Because, um, let me think, instant speed... Oh, yeah, no, instantly easy outspeed here, there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fine. Um, okay. Who maxes Venusaur here? What a madman. I guess Max Guard would be kind of sneaky. Um... But I think I think I'm still fine if they match. They don't match God. Okay, they just sack their Venu. That's okay. Yeah, nice Venusaur nerd. Um, I am not sure what they were going for with that. I don't know what. I guess they thought I'd maybe just air slash the Venusaur. Um, in which case they would have lived that if they'd maxed. Um, but yeah, Beaver's Blade should do like this a little bit under half to Thunder, I think. Um, so now Incin outspeeds Zashian. Uh, I can just blitz Zashian and, and hit whatever comes in in the next slot with um, Thunder. I think I should be okay here. Zard comes in. Oh, that's fine, yeah. No, I just I just go for... Um... Actually, how many times do I have to Tailwind? Is this the last time I Tailwind? It is. Okay. Um, in which case, I think what I actually want to do is I want to go for Airstream there. Is this that outspeed? No... Incident won't even outspeed Zashin at plus three is the problem, so there's no point going for that. Um, is there? Thunder outspeeds anyway. Incin... 55 plus 270... And a half... No one outspeed. Okay, no, there's no point going for Airstreams here then. Um, let's just see if they get greedy. This is probably just double protect, I guess, but. Yeah, it's double protect. That's fine. I mean, this will do an absolute chunk to Charizard here. <clears throat> like, I, I reckon easily. Easily a third through protect, if not more. Yeah, about a third. Um, okay. Tailwind does run out, but again, the reason I didn't go for an airstream there is just because, like, Incin's not outspeeding Zashin at any point anyway. No Tailwind. Um, 
maybe darkness is my best bet here. Or knuckle. Uh, no, because knuckle won't kill Zard, will it? I mean, lightning doesn't do anything. Airstream doesn't really do anything. Spit F drops. Maybe useful? I think Max Darkness is technically the best option I have here, just because, like, nothing else actually has any impact on anything. So I'm going to go for Darkness here and just Darkest Larry out the Zashin. Um, oh, sorry, Float Lets the Zashin. Yeah, Max Darkness. This just means that, like, Tornadus comes in and I can potentially get some jank with the... Uh... Like, it, it just increases my air slash damage for back-end Zashin a little bit. Like, that's, that's all, but it's better than nothing. Um, let's actually go Sacred Sword, fine, this won't kill. I'm not even close here, I got my Citrus. Um, jump, jump, jump. Very cool. And, yeah, like, some boosted flare that kills this, I'm sure. I've done the calculations. And you're dead. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Honestly, that's a pretty good indicator of how the team's supposed to work. Like, that's that's kind of the generic fast mode uh, with this team, is like, Torn Palkia and Sin Sunday. Um, so I think it's actually a, about as good a representation of how the team is supposed to work as you're going to get. So I'm, I'm content with that as my game one. Um, let's continue. <laughs> Two, three, okay, we didn't gain that many ranks for that, but... Oh well. Um... We could have got to um, show off the, like, kind of Metagross mode with this team now. Um... In this game, but I don't know. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We got this is ooh, this is big time not Metagross mode. <laughs> this is so aggressively not Metagross. Um, is it not? Kyogre is just so scary for Metagross, but I don't think you lead Kyogre into Palkia or Thundee here. I'm tempted to go Tornadus Thunderous. Kind of thing that makes sense. Tom Thumbing isn't the worst idea. Uh, maybe Pog is a bit safer. I'm just kind of scared of the Alcremi. I can always just guise the Alcremi, can't I? Um, one thing with Pog is Reggie Drago could be annoying. I don't even switch him for that. Can I go Palky Thunder? I'm gonna go Palky Insin, I think. Is maybe my safest play. Palky Insin and then bring Thunder. And I guess back end tornadoes isn't the worst. Or I could just leave front end tornadoes and go for Well no, because I don't get speed control because they have faster mons. I don't hate back end speed control. I could do this. I think this works. Do I want P2 or Metagross here? The problem with Metagross in this matchup is it's really good against a couple of the Pokemon and it's really bad against the rest. Like, it's it's really good into Alcremi and Regidrago and Whimsicott. Absolute trash into Kyogre, trash into Cinderace. Well, I guess not awful into Cinderace, but like not good into Cinderace and not good into Urshifu. So it's just not really worth bringing. Um, okay. They just go Regidrago wins. Okay, so Palkia is under threat here. Um, Um, problem with this is if I'm fast, um, if sorry, if Registrator is timid, then it's probably faster than me. But if it's modest, I am faster than it. Given that I don't know the nature of this Registrator, it is very hard to tell. Um, because I could go fake out Worm in turn one, potentially. Is Palkia my max this game? The other thing I could do is I could just play it slightly safe and go protect and parting shot off the um, Reggie Drago, which I kind of think I prefer. Um, they max their Reggie Drago, okay. Fine. Um, this is fine. They're going to waste a max turn into Palkia, I would presume. Um, yeah, there's a big Reggie Drago. So I could have gone fake out whims um, and like spatial rend there, um, but if they're fast than me, I just lose my palky for nothing. They helping hand, you greedy bastard. Okay. Are they just destroying my insin? Oh, if they kill my insin here, that's a good move. Um, 
they've got to be scared of. Oh, okay, they are scared of Pocky. Holy Moses! That did more than it had any right to do. Um, that's life orb. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Party shot. Now I bring in thunderous, right? Oh, sorry, tornadoes. Um, bring tornadoes. Now this turn I can set tailwind, and I say taunt me. Um, I think if they go life orb, is that? It's probably modest, isn't it? I think I can get away with spatial rend here, like tailwind spatial rend. Um. I guess also bringing in Thunderous would have made sense there. Uh, reason being that well, Regidrago is only real. You are joking. Of course it has Encore. Of course it has Encore. Who the hell runs Encore Whimsicott in this metagame? That's trash. Alright, Woman comes out. Tornadoes goes down to one. Jesus Christ, that's such garbage. It is good to know that Palkia is... Oh wait, no, because I got Tailwind up, didn't I? Um, that's actual trash. Um, I mean, they're just going to Encore my Tornadoes now, and there's nothing I can do about that. That's I what? No, Maxi Pocky is dumb. Who do they want wind? So I can double switch here, and if I get the double switch correct, what I can do is I can just eat a worm wind on one of my slots. And who are they worm winding? I mean they worm with the Palkia slot here, right? They worm with the Palkia slot. I can switch Palkia into Incin and switch Tornadus into Thunderous. Um, and this should hopefully give me a boost on my Thunder. You can also sack Palkia there. Um, this is probably Tailwind Max Whirlwind, I guess. Um, This is super risky though, because if I if I get this wrong, I don't have I don't really have a max target left, do I? That's Tailwind, yep. They've got mm. Actually I guess if they're going Tailwind, they want to go around Palky here. Well they no they could, Yeah, okay, they were trying to catch the switch in. That still does so much. That's actually insane. Okay. Um Thunder gets to find boost. Now we're in a decent position, I think. I know I've lost a lot of HP here, but Thunder's a plus one, which is super nice, and Whimsicott is in not the best shape. Um, I can guarantee KO Whimsicott here. They could go Helping Hand with Reggie Drago. Um, they are at minus one, though. I don't really care too much. I could also just fake out Reggie Drago and go for Airstream into Whims. Because um, they can't Encore my, um, my Incin. I think I like this play. Um, if I can get a couple of airstream boosts before Wims goes down, then I'm in half decent shape. Um, okay. Wims goes out, so something's eating a max airstream. And it's Ogre. Oh my god. Sure. Sure, that is fine. Okay, they double switch. What are they reading here? Yeah, Ursh comes in, fine. I mean, this fake out's still fine, because I'll break a sash on Ursh if it has it. Um, and I'm going to do, like, a billion damage to Thunderous. Uh, not Thunderous, to Kyogre. I've got one more turn of Tailwind off this, which means I can get another Ursh boost off the Ursh for free. Um, okay, fake out, which breaks a potential sash. Very cool. Maximum airstream. That almost just kills Kyogre. That's really good. Um, so this is now the last turn of Tailwind. So what I can do is I can get another airstream boost. And I can just lariat into the um, Ogre, right? I 
I have a nagging suspicion that this is um, Banded Urshifu. Yeah. So this is double KO. Very nice. I've got one more turn of max on Thundy. Uh, crit didn't matter. Um, now that I'm plus two speed on Thunderous, I'll outspeed their Reggie Drago regardless. Um, and I can also just set Tailwind up again. Um, Larat comes out. Okay. We know Wins doesn't have Protect. Because we've seen Encore helping and Tailwind, and they'll be an attacking move, right? So there's no Protect on Whimsicott. I think what we want to do here is we just want to double into the Wins. Um, Wins comes out. I might lose Incin here, actually. But I can get Tornadoes back in and just set up Tailwind again. Which I think it's fine. Um, wait, was that not the last time I Tailwind? Oh, it was. Yeah, okay. And they've got one more turn. Yeah, I think I just want to get rid of the Whimsicott this turn. Um, stop them getting Tailwind up again. Let's do this. Yeah, Astrium and Lariat into that. And they just quit. Okay. So that was just... Yeah, that was a bit... A bit shaky. But... Yeah, that was just playing around their max. And the, this, the, the call on the turn they went for Wormwood into Palkia was, was big. Because getting that boost on Thunderous and keeping it at max health was, was super, super valuable. From that point on, the game was just over. Like... Because I'm Assault Vest, there's not really much that either any of their Pokemon could do. And I kind of get what they were going for with the double switch on that turn, but like they just took so much free damage on both their Pokemon that it wasn't really worth it for my opponent, I think. Um, okay, well that went that went decently. Um, yeah, again, that was just that was just showcasing the, the fast mode for this team. Like I said, I think the difficulty with this team is that when it works, it really works, but when it doesn't work, like in, in matchups like... I highlighted um, Zashman, I think. Sol Galeo was a little bit shaky with this team. Um, who else was there that was a problem? Like, Lapras, this team kind of struggles with. Um, like, it's, it's matchups like those make it a lot more difficult just to be consistent with it. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a solid team. It's fun. Um, so, yeah, feel free to give it a go. Um, the rental code was at the start of the video, so feel free to go and grab that. Um, otherwise... Uh, as always, please make sure to follow me on Twitch. Um, the link to my Twitch will be in the description and sub to the YouTube if you haven't already. Um, yeah, other than that, that is all for this episode. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.